Hello, my name is Chip and I'm a paramedic instructor for the state of North Carolina. We're going to talk briefly on how to treat hot water burns. Hot water burns can be anything from your tap water that's been turned up too high or you're boiling something while cooking dinner and you know water spills out, splashes out, or heaven forbid a child grabs the handle and tips over uh, a bucket of boiling water from the stove. The biggest thing with hot water burns is you want to cool it down quickly. Once you get the burn on, let's say, your arm, go under some running water, not cold water, but just, you know, lukewarm to, to cool water. You don't want to get it too cold, just to slow down that burning process on the skin. If you don't allow it to stop, it's going to continue to burn until it slows down on its own. So again, tap water, cool it down, dry it a little bit. Sometimes if it's very hot water, again, boiling water, you're going to get a blistering effect. You can actually get a second degree burn, which can be serious if it's on, let's say, your entire wrist or your fingers. You can have problems with moving your fingers as well as your wrist. Also, swelling, if it goes, if the burn goes all the way around, it's called a circumferential burn to your wrist or fingers. It can cause swelling that almost acts as a tourniquet and squeezes as that skin starts to swell. That can be a pretty serious emergency because it can slow down your blood flow to all parts beyond that or distal to that site. So with those, you definitely want to seek medical attention very quickly. Also with burns, uh, it's important that however the burn has happened, you don't want to get hurt any further. So if there's hot water on the floor, make sure you don't step in it. Make sure you get the patient away from the hazard area to make sure that you can take care of them without hurting them or yourself anymore. And this has been basic treatment for hot water burns.